So um, before we move on and go ahead and create our Instagram API and stuff, I'm in a, a few mistake actually. If you see here, I created a middleware where you could tell, you could ask note where to look all the static resources and stuff. And right now, currently we're putting it under public folder. But if you go here, I put all of my resources under view and it is not in public folder. So go to your folder, your, your app folder and go ahead and create a new folder and you're gonna name it public. All right. And then you're gonna drag views to into public. Um, you're gonna close sublime. Here, drag this to public. All right. Once you have dragged this, open back your Sublime. Now you have everything in public. So now go ahead and create a new file, and you're gonna name it. I'm sorry. Create a new folder, and you're gonna have CSS. So once you have CSS folder, you have Views folder, and go ahead, go back to your server.js. All right. So right now, what we're going to do is we are going to create the API. So we are going to configure our Instagram app. So type Instagram, which is the instance of this one, instance of Instagram library. So um, type in Instagram dot use. And you're going to put in client ID. All right and then you're gonna put in client secret so um once you have this you're gonna go down here and you're gonna tap in app dot get function request and response so we're gonna leave it here before that we are going to create our Instagram application first before we do that, you're gonna need an Instagram. But of course, everyone has an Instagram. Not everyone I'm saying this. Most probably you have it as well. If you don't have, go ahead and sign up. If you have already have it, go ahead to Instagram.com slash developer and you're gonna type and register your application. And I already have two, so I'm gonna create a new client and you're gonna name it Instagram testing 2015 mm, probably not uh, I'm just gonna put in HTTP localhost 80 as well as HTTP localhost this and you're gonna redirect to probably just this um, let's go back to manage Wait, you're gonna I click this I kind of forgot all right all right okay so um this is your website name and this is whenever you, after you have login using Instagram it will redirect you to which route you want it to go you could put API profile whatever you could put profile you could put whatever you want it's up to you so once you have done that type this keyhole before you want to create the client you have to log in and as you can see already log in and just for your information Instagram is built in uh, Django Python Django just for your information and go ahead and register invalid name I believe all right this is a Instagram testing app photo app so go up here testing 2016 I don't know what name I run out of ideas what to put so I'm just gonna put testing 2016 so it's working so after you have done if you after you have seen this if you have seen this grab this client ID and copy it go back to sublime and paste it here and press save go back to your Instagram manage client and copy this client secret 
and go back here and you're gonna paste it here all right so once you have this it's done all right so once you have configured all this type in Instagram dot media popular all right so because Instagram this library specific library it has uh, many what we call this many API they could use for now we're just gonna render all the popular uh, pictures and stuff so that's why we are taking one of its methods of Instagram so you're gonna pass in callback function put medias remaining this is all the all the um, argument that media popular has error it has media as the remaining has a limit so after we've done that rest render pages index right then um, I'm gonna put grams equals index key value gram is just any name you could put it any name you want index I'm sorry it's not index it's supposed to be a medias is the basically medias is this one but basically it's in um how do you see this is it's the instance of instagram.media popular because there's no way you you want to you could this is how callback works all right you gotta use the instance of instagram.media popular you cannot just copy this and put it here it is ridiculous right so you have to have one of its instance which is medias right the reason why we put medias is so that we could you know render all the datas that we want later on so once you have done this cool everything is cool I'm just gonna clean up a little bit all right so once we have done this it's done for in this video and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video where we actually going to see the real the real thing all right bye